What up, is Marcus Dice Football Dads? Guess what? It is playoff time. We have week two of the playoffs. I'm going to go through some start sit questions that I personally has, have received. So let's go through it. Uh, it is, we are getting very tough. It is David Njoku who has been hot against Houston. And we have George Kittle against Baltimore. Baltimore's tough defense. What am I choosing here? And I, I'm going to choose George Kittle here against Baltimore. I feel like this Houston game, this Houston-Cleveland game is going to be very low scoring. Although... Njoku is going to be probably very t high targeted in this Houston game. Uh, I'm going to take George Kittle. George Kittle is Mr. Playoff Kittle. He seems to ball out on these big games. So I am taking George Kittle over Njoku. But, I mean, Njoku is a great pick if you're looking at the at players like Ferguson or Goddard or Isaiah Likely. Uh, and we're going to speak of Mr. Cole Komet. Cole Komet is a, 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 against Arizona. I mean, that's why you want to play him. Uh, versus Hunter Henry against Denver here. Uh, I'm going to choose, and so Hunter Henry had an injury, and so this could be an easy Cole Komet, uh, but maybe you even have a third choice, like a Taysom Hill. So I'm going to actually take Cole Komet over Taysom Hill, over Cole, or actually over Cole Komet. I'm going to take Cole Komet over Cole Komet. I'm going to take Cole Komet over Hunter Henry here, but know this, that if Hunter Henry comes out with the, 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 the non-injury designation, and he's against, gosh, Denver, and Denver and Vance Joseph's horrendous tight end defense, um... Hunter Henry could be a sneaky play this week. Uh, I like both Cole Komet and uh, Hunter Henry over the likes of like Isaiah Likely, even Jake Ferguson, and gosh, even Evan Ingram, I think is is probably right in that borderline there. And so that's, tight ends are going to be a tough one this week. I, I really look at the, the some of these matchups and I'm like, man, I really like Cole Komet's matchup. I really like um, Hunter Henry's matchup. So let's go through some wide receivers here. DeAndre Hopkins versus Garrett Wilson. Let's just let's play a little name game. And what I mean by is Garrett Wilson or this player. Garrett Wilson or Calvin Ridley. I'm taking Calvin Ridley. Garrett Wilson over or Chris Olave. I'm actually going to take uh, Garrett Wilson over Chris Olave here. Chris Olave coming back from injury, but against the Rams. Rams are actually an okay defense. Uh, Chris uh, Garrett Wilson or in my uh, per first, well, not my first league. Uh, in a league, I have an option of this. T Higgins. I'm taking T Higgins. Uh, Garrett Wilson or Drake London. I am going to be taking Garrett Wilson in that situation against Indianapolis. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not taking Drake London against Indianapolis. Um, DeAndre Hopkins or Garrett Wilson. <sighs> Taking Garrett Wilson, but it, it is very, very tough. Uh, Garrett Wilson or Zay Flowers, I am taking Garrett Wilson. Uh, Garrett Wilson or Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams there. Garrett Wilson, I'm just looking at different rankings. Devontae Smith, uh, taking Devontae Smith there. So you kind of get where he's at. He's kind of in that high 20s. Uh, for rankings wise here and you get kind of the name game that we've ranked some of these wide receivers I means a lot of people are having these issues with some of these low-end wide receiver twos so if you're looking at jordan addison I i'm benching jordan addison compared to a deandre hopkins a garrett wilson uh, man chris olave is so close it, it really is i really am low on chris olave this week maybe it's because i'm against him in every single league that i play uh so jordan addison chris godwin deontay johnson these are kind of all in the same category versus a little bit higher of that category in the high 20s versus some of those low 20s types of players. I hope you get kind of an idea of the realm of what we're talking about wide receiver wise. Let's go to some running backs um, because I mean, I have some personal options. I have Javante Williams or uh, David Montgomery and I'm choosing David Montgomery against my Minnesota Vikings. Let's go. Um, <laughs> so let's go through Isaiah Pacheco or what are we doing with him? We're starting him in, mo in most of the cases. He's a high uh, high teens type of ranked running back. I mean, if you have Isaiah Pacheco or like a DeAndre Swift, I'm taking Pacheco. If you have Isaiah Pacheco or like a Travis Etienne, I'm taking Travis Etienne in that case. But Or even like a Brees Hall, uh, I'm going to take Isaiah Pacheco there. He has a, no injury designation right now. I mean, he seems to be fully healthy after that surgery, that superhuman surgery. Uh, so let's go through DeAndre Swift, Jonathan Taylor, Brees Hall. What am I doing with these types of players? Um, in that, or I'm taking Jonathan Taylor last. I just don't understand. I don't. The, the Colts scare me. And then why the Colts scare me right now, and then this is Thursday, you could have all Zach Moss. You could have all Jonathan Taylor. You could have ha both of them, half and half. You could have neither of them. It could be, it could be Trey Sermon. It could be, it could be anybody on that, and that Colts backfield. They just signed a running back. They're kept a running back. So it, it just, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. So if I, and I see that Ty Chandler's in the low, the high 20s here versus Jonathan Taylor, who's in the mid teens. I'd rather have Ty Chandler this week. I'd rather have a Saquon Barkley, even against Philadelphia, and the automatic touches. Devin Achan. I'd rather have Devin Achan over like a Jonathan Taylor, DeAndre Swift, uh, Brees Hall type. And I think these three, and why I listed them right off the bat, is because 
they're one of my three favorite least players this week. Even Joe Mixon against Pittsburgh. I think that that's going to be an ugly matchup. I, I think that those four running backs are players that I'm going to try to divvy and get away from and pick the A-chans and the Kenneth Walkers and the Zeeks and the Barclays. Zeke, if uh, Ramondre Stevenson is not healthy. So if I had to pick between like an A-chan and a Kenneth Walker, I'm going to pick A-chan. If I have a Kenneth Walker versus a Saquon Barkley, I'm picking uh, Kenneth Walker. If I have Barkley versus DeAndre Swift, I'm taking Barkley. I mean, you get if you have any questions below, by the way, Put them below so then I can answer them for you because uh, maybe I don't go through your exact situation. But I think that th this is a very helpful, um, i trying to think what it's called, a very helpful way of going about things with some of these rankings without having to go through this for 45 minutes. Uh, kind of a, a quick little like, hey, this is eight, eight minutes of your time. We're all, we're all busy and I hope you like my little uh, Santa uh, Christmas stuff. So if we got quarterbacks here, Quarterbacks that I'm looking at benching. Tua Tagovailoa, trying to bench him. I mean, we're looking at that. Joe Flacco against Houston. I think this is actually going to be a bad week for, for Mr. Flacco. I've been all on Flacco the last couple weeks. I'm all off of Flacco. Houston is going to be... I mean, honestly, Cleveland could be ahead in this game for majority of it, and they could just run with Jerome Ford, even though that's not an efficient way of going about things. And Houston's pass defense has been remarkably good at times. So uh, I'm going to try to bench him. Geno Smith. Just not trusting him. I see him high on these rankings. I don't care. I'm not trusting him because he could, one wrong little thing, and he could be out for the rest of the game. And then you're looking going, why in the world did I start Geno over a Russell Wilson? Like, I'd rather have Russell Wilson against New England. Uh, Baker Mayfield is one of my starts of the week. He plays against Jacksonville. He's been hot. He's in, in beer pong style. He is on fire. So let's light him up. Uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, Jordan Love is another one in the, the lo lower teens that I've seen in a lot of rankings. That Honestly, he should be up there higher over Geno Smith, over uh, Joe Flacco. I think I'm taking Jordan Love in a lot of cases. And Carolina, uh, honestly, Green Bay can't stop anybody. Maybe they can stop Carolina. We shall see uh, what happens there. And then so some of the other big names, Patrick Mahomes. You might be looking at a bench of Patrick Mahomes versus like a Justin Fields over Arizona or Matthew Stafford uh, or New, uh, New Orleans or a Lamar Jackson over San Francisco, which they just got burned by Kyler Murray. And so Patrick Mahomes against Las Vegas, I get it. Like Las Vegas is an, a very appealing thing after they let up 21 points to the Chargers, all garbage time. Uh, but you have to remember they let up three to the Minnesota Vikings. And I think that this will be kind of a ugly game. And I think I could see Isaiah, Isaiah Pacheco taking in a touchdown or two, uh, or even Jerick McKinnon taking another touchdown or two. He seems to be the touchdown master around this time of the year in December. And so that's why I am trying to, again, avoid Patrick Mahomes, which is super weird here to say in December 21st. So let me know what your start sit questions are. That was eight minutes of fun. I will see you guys in a couple days. Peace out. Take care and good luck to everybody.